Welcome back. Time for 8-1 for your home. We're joined with handyman Dwight Rittenhouse to talk about uh, Fujitsu heat pumps, talking about staying <laughs> warm in the winter for the cheapest source of heat known to man. Hey, you got it right. Yeah, I know. Congratulations. I've, been doing, I've been doing this for a while. Dwight. Well, I tell you, you're, you're getting really good. We ought to get Morgan to introduce it. I know. Uh, you know, but maybe, you know, I haven't seen this. It was like you and Morgan hadn't seen each other all week. I haven't seen Fujitsu for about a year and a half. Really? Yeah, I was just in, so impressed when I seen this. This is actually the newest and latest uh, Fujitsu, which actually come back to our country again, which we had an awful time getting during COVID. So uh, a lot of delays due to the pandemic? A lot of delays. We couldn't get the units and, it, you know, we're, it's getting a lot better right now. So this is one of the newer models. So I wanted to bring it on and show everybody. This is uh, the 9000. This is one of the, the higher energy efficient units uh, on the market today. There's uh, a couple other companies that's right up there that matches uh, the SEER rating and the HSPF rating, which is the air conditioning and the heat rating of a unit, you know. Okay. So when you hear the word SEER, it's a seasonal energy efficiency rating of what it costs to operate to cool your house during a whole season. Is that what that number means? And then the HSPF rating is the heat rating which is, you know, what does it cost to, you know, heat your home all winter long? Mm -hmm. And this is right up there. There's hardly anything on the market today that's more efficient than what the Fujitsu is. And uh, so we're kind of excited to have it back. That on is our, exciting. Yeah. So how much would it, how much do you have to put in to be able to heat your home? When you use the heat pump, you kind of are just paying for the actual product. True. You know, you have you buy no oil or gas or anything like that. This this unit right here is a nine thousand. I've got this heating homes up to eleven hundred, twelve hundred square feet if the layout's right to where you can get airflow throughout the house. Uh, with the a lot of them, a lot of times you might need two of these units. Like if you have the bedroom door shut or a part of your house you can't get to with like an air movement, mm -hmm. you know. So you'd put two of these units in. But the operation of this, what the how the heat pump works, it actually extracts heat out of the zero degree air outside, and it makes the refrigeration gas inside, like your refrigerator has. It makes it boil, and it brings it into this coil on the inside, as you see here. Uh, there's a filter in here, mm -hmm. and the coil itself is behind these these air filters wow. and that filter right there or that coil is where the air fan blows the heat across heat off of that and that's what heats your home yeah now when you so, mentioned the filter does that also kind of get some of the dust and debris right. that we might be breathing in we collect about 95 percent of the airborne dust in your house so uh, you know you don't have to run around and take something and wipe it off of everything because these filters it's on the inside and i didn't pull the tape off of these but anyway the filters come out uh, relatively simple just to pull it out like this and this is the filter in the inside you can take and put that under the sink just pretty off. easy to wash yes. off you watch and you watch all that dirt go away and you know that you're not breathing it in right and exactly. also are you telling me I'll be doing less cleaning and dusting if I have a heat oh pump? my yeah <laughs> well then sign me up <laughs> oh okay. so you're, you're saving money you're heating your home but also in the win in the summer does it also can it it's, act as an air conditioner? It, it acts as an air conditioner. Uh, the air conditioning part of these things runs for almost free. It's amazing. You can run this unit right here for probably fifteen to eighteen dollars a month. That's amazing. All month long, twenty-four hours a day, to, you know, to cool your house. So it, it operates very efficiently there. Heating wise, are very efficient too. Uh, it's uh, you know we have people tell us that, that we didn't really notice our electric bill going up once we installed one of these. You know. But, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's no source of heat known to man any cheaper than this, you know. But this is a new look that Fujitsu has. They've changed the outside of the unit a little bit. Yeah, it looks very sleek and, and they, nice. And they've actually made the louver here in the front, uh, if I can find it. That louver is actually opens a lot larger, so we have a, a more airflow going through the unit, which makes it a little bit more efficient. And very quiet operation. You can't really sit here and hear this thing running on the wall. You know, it's uh, it's really nice how how quiet it is. And I like that, but I think probably the biggest selling point is how much money you do end up saving. So it is an investment initially, but what's so great is you do payment plans as well with people. We have financing available through a couple different companies. Uh, we you know. You can get 12 months same as cash. You can do a three or five or a seven year payment plan if you want to. But I don't think you'd want to do that because if you have an oil furnace 
And if you just eliminate the cost of the oil, it'll almost pay for one of these units in the first year. I wow. mean, this is, they're not real expensive. Uh, you're talking about maybe a three or $4,000 investment uh, to initially to heat your home and cool your home, which is uh, really reasonable in today's market. So you turn around and, and put this in, but you don't have to fill that oil tank. And you know, to fill an old tank oh, today, yeah, you're talking about a lot of money. Especially with the price, it just seems like yeah. it's going up and up. So, yeah. if people are interested in getting a hold of you, you're pretty much a one-stop shop mm -hmm. over at Mount Union Lumber and Supply. What's the best way to do it, Dwight? Well, you can give us a call at eight one four five four two two nine eight one. You can find us uh, on the web at muls.net, or you can find us at one fourteen West Poplar Street. Visit our showroom. Come in. You can. We have multiple units on the wall. You can feel them, hear them you know feel the heat coming out whatever <laughs> that is great because i yeah. do want to know i want to feel you know is it pretty warm or right. you know that's something that's great so w if they get down there in mount union um they'll be able to test things you and, better believe and it. talk to one of your trusty uh sales associates yes sure can. <laughs> thanks thank dwight thank you. we'll have all the details over on our website on wtha.com thanks for coming on mm -hmm.